Hello, I'm trying to run uh, breakout in uh, four. It's loading now. Uh, and I take the slowest speed here. And I could take uh, nine balls here. Then, uh, oh, oh, I missed the first ball. I control it with the arrow keys. You can hear its sound too. Oh, well, uh, uh, the interesting part is when you get up here and you it bounces around. Uh, so I, that, uh, I should not try this now. Uh, I can see here, uh, I say no here. And then we could uh, try this uh, game called Crash uh, 4. So this is running on a emulator for TS TRS eighty model one. Um, now this is a two player game, so I have to use uh, these keys that they say here. I think I take the slowest here too. difficult to play against each other here. Well, oh, I, I collided with myself here. Uh, but this is, game is a bit uh, the same as Tron, the movie Tron. It came out first in 1981. But this uh, uh, oh here. Uh, 1982. But this uh, four system is from uh, 1981. But there was a predecessor from 1979. So that might also have this program here. So this program could be earlier than Tron. Uh, so I say no here. Uh, then they have another game that called Freeway, but I don't understand that. But you can read uh, in the code. You have the source code for everything in fourth. It's fourth uh, seventy nine with some extensions.
So this is Otello, also called Reversi. And it has AI, artificial intelligence. Mm. Uh, would you like to move first? Uh, well, I can say no here. Uh, okay. So the computer may move F5. Uh, in reverse, it's normally black and white bricks which you turn, but here there are X and O. Um, well, I could say um, C3. No, I, I must have done wrong here. Uh, I should say uh, uh, F4. Uh -huh. hmm. I know it worked. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, you see, uh, I could say D six. But uh, I should not play this uh, to the end. Um, but I won before very much, so it, it's not so difficult to win over it. Um, now I've not uh, succeeded in breaking out of this. There is a break here, F11. Um, but uh, that doesn't seem to break out of this game, really. Because uh, normal um, this should list all the words in the system, and it works here. But it's a strange uh, resolution. It's only thirty-two characters, so a double width of them. It, um, but there was some command there. But they are shortened here. They just have the three first letters in the commands. Except those are that there are four characters. Uh, but uh, it perhaps depends on when you break it. But uh, I don't know how to get back to the normal resolution, so I do reset here. And now we start from the beginning. And then uh, I load the diskette here. I press Control Print Screen. That is this request. Then we get the hypervisor where we control the emulator. Then I tab here. You can do Shift tab to back. Then I press Space. Then I use Tab again here. Then I use arrow keys here. Then I look up this uh, fourth. Uh, disk get and press enter here and then ok here and then I press space here and then there is some form of reset here um, now uh, this is loaded here and uh, I shall show you how to load this program so you also can play uh, first, I do extensions here. Then I do random to load uh, support for random numbers. Then I do extension again. Extensions. And I do graphics, and that's all uh, those game programs needs. But other programs could need other things here, other packages. Uh, 
and then I need to load the game it's here Luther on another diskette and then I have to go into the hyperbase again control the sister request and you have to load it into disk zero but I think you can configure this system so that it can be more comfortable and you can use all four this gets all four uh, screens then it's number three here they have long file names uh, in windows um, okay now uh, you have to press tab here to get to the no because we don't want to reset all those things you have loaded uh, now we press enter here and we see the game is get here and we can run break forth again if we want to or uh, some other game we could try this tic tac four for instance i don't think it's so funny because you play against yourself Uh, yes, and uh, so uh, maybe we can. Okay, so uh, okay, the player now I could say uh, M here and. Uh, and then enter to stop and then I say M's turn so then I say uh, for instance C4 C4 and then uh, apparently they can disappear and then B's turn now so B might say D5 Um, yeah, I could say uh, D3. And then you continue like that. Here, uh, I might be able to enter here uh, this break. Um, but this might also be the white characters. Now these are the ordinary 64 characters per line. Now you can press uh, pause here on the TRS-80. It's F10 here. I've already shown the commands again. Um, but now uh, I could uh, show this F1 key. There is a bug related to this. So I press here F1. And then we see those uh, commands and what keys we should press. So uh, the commands are here and the keys you press to do them are there. But then you press F1 again here. But then it says here that uh, uh, disk zero has changed, but uh, we have not done that now, but we should then do this no. But then we get back to the uh, screen here with help screen. And then we can't get out of it. Uh, if I press F1 here, I don't get out of it or try space or tab or anything. Uh, it's locked here now uh, so that's uh, a bug here because this uh, f1 key works well in basic but not in four when you have loaded 
uh, some diskette that you can't reset. So I reset it here now. So I just wanted to show the F1 key here. It works well here. Then you can start basic here if you want to. So that's basic. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all for now. Bye bye.